ball just wasn't going in. Um, but we had decent looks at the basket. We knew Xavier was going to be a little short-handed with Blewett being out. And uh, we just talked about not letting guys who are not accustomed to scoring big have big scoring nights. So I thought our guys did a good job persevering, even though our offense wasn't clicking early. Um, but I thought a big stretch was under the four minute timeout, I think it was 29, 20, where we were able to cut it to two or three at the half. And I thought the second half, I thought we had good rhythm, we had good pace. I thought we were mentally tough, physically tough. You know, Xavier's one of the best rebounding teams in the country, and they, again, plus 15 on the glass. Uh, but I thought our offense made a lot of shots, and I thought we had contributions from everybody. I thought Isaiah was big. I thought Emmett was big coming off the bench. Uh, Malik Young came in a late part of the second half and kept us going. Uh, it was a really, really good team win for us. Uh, Kyron continues to develop. Uh, I think his speed and his pace in, in running our team. I talked to the team today about, I think we've played as well as anybody in our league over the last five games, six games. We just haven't won some of them, but it's coming right down to the wire. Uh, so the last couple of games, I think the confidence of the group hopefully propels us, you know, as we get later into February. But a great team win, another Big East battle. You know, you got to try to win your home games if you're going to be considered a, a postseason team. You all following the first half? You really spun your offense, or are you just let the kids not making shots? I think, you know, we had great looks at the basket. We just weren't making shots. You know, those same shots we took in the second half and they went in. You know, some of the sloppy play with the turnovers. Um, but I still think we did a decent job defending. Although we didn't score, I think we only gave up 30, 31 points and didn't score the ball. So this is the second game in a row. I think our defense in the first half really has helped us. And just along, along Kyron's lines, you know, Chris Mack was just in here saying he's just a blur. But when he's going at a fast pace, you guys are tough. I sat down and talked to Kyron today for about 20 minutes. And, you know, I said, Kyron, we need to have a man to man conversation about how good you can be. But you got to act like it because you're, you're growing right in front of everybody's eyes. If you want to make this a career and you want to earn from this, you're going to have an opportunity. But you got to start thinking about it and really realizing that you're a good player. Um, his speed is a, a game changer. It really is. He's, he's, he's really, really improved. I think it's improved. You know, I mean, he has a couple that, you know, that we have to eat early because we want to play in transition and put pressure on the defense. But he's never been a high turnover guard. Even as a freshman, I think he had a better assist to turnover ratio than Chris his whole career. You know, he just didn't dominate the ball the way Chris did. Ed, did you see something different in their 1-3-1 that they were playing the first half that maybe allowed you to attack it? A little bit differently in the second half? We did. We did. I mean, we have a really good staff, and, you know, we, we prepared for it in practice. Um, you don't want to say too much because we may play him again, but our staff does a good job recognizing some of the things that we need to make to adjust. And I thought our players, you can't just coach it, you got to have your players execute it. And Isaiah, just talk about the lift that you gave in the second half. Uh, you know, it seemed you're in good groove, and the rest of your teammates were as well. How much were you feeding off uh, everyone else's uh, shots? I was just working hard on being aggressive, coming out with more energy off the bench. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyron got me going with a, a shot in the right corner. And that just kind of sparked me, uh, gave me more energy to help the team. Ed, do you think your guys were in a good spot? Like you mentioned, the run right before the end of the first half. Yeah, that was big for us. I mean, I, if we don't have that run, I don't know if we win the game. You know, we, we needed to feel confident going into halftime. And I think we got two or three stops. We had two big tippins. I thought Kyron's tipping at the buzzer was huge. Um, I thought we had a transition basket that got us going. We needed that to feel like, okay, we can actually win this game. You know, we, we definitely knew they were depleted, for sure. So a couple of guys sick, but you know, you got to persevere through this season, and you got to be able to take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. Isaiah, when you guys are struggling in the first half to score, how do you guys keep playing defense? Oftentimes, the defense can suffer. Um, we just stay motivated. Uh, we knew the shots that we were taking were great shots. We just had to believe in ourselves and focus on the defensive end. Um, and it turned out to work out pretty good. And second half, we made shots that we were missing, and we still played great defense. So it just kind of combined together. 
Is this uh, one of Rodney's more complete games? Yeah, I, I, was, I was happy for Rodney. You know, uh, he puts a lot of pressure on himself to perform well, and sometimes that hurts him. Uh, so I'm proud of his development. I'm proud of how the group is trying to come together. I mean, I think we're a totally different team than we were a month ago. Uh, I think guys are comfortable in the role of which they're accepting. I think when you accept the role, I think you flourish in that and you actually play more. But I think we've gotten better. We really have. Hopefully, we're, we've turned a corner of improvement, uh, and hopefully that propels us to continue to improve and win games. You said, I think, after the Villanova game, the bye came at a good time for you guys. It this, came at a perfect time. I mean, that this, was our first bye. Does this come at a good time, or do you want to – Keep it going, or is it good to just maybe take another breather here before you guys hit the stretch run? That's what the schedule tells you to do. Um, so we're excited about it. You've got to embrace that as well with the scheduling. Sorry for that. I don't know whose this is, but I apologize for that. <laughs> Mr. Sweeney, you'll buy you another one. Um, <laughs> we, will, we will take advantage of this rest. We'll take advantage of it mentally, emotionally. Uh, our staff will get out and go out and recruit. Um, it'll give us a chance to be home with our families too. Coach, we just talk about college basketball. We talk about the team's ability and value to grab the lead, but maintain the lead there in the second half. Very hard to do against experienced teams. Um, this is one of the few games we've had where we've been able to build the lead and sustain the lead. Uh, some of that is to playing at home. You know, the energy that this building has had, basically every home game we've had is really a testament to the energy that's in our building. Uh, I mean, I couldn't be more proud of our fans and more excited about playing two more home games. So it's a testament to what our ticket staff has done to keep the energy and excitement, not just as in a game, but an environment and an atmosphere. You talk about the importance of winning home games. You just probably played two of the three best teams in the league. Uh, did you maybe learn something from the St. John's game? Well, you know, perseverance. Um, you know, making plays at the right time. But defensively, we made a couple of adjustments that had taken away some of the things that other teams want to do, making them make another play. Um, so I think defensively, we've really improved. I think that's been the biggest improvement uh, that's helped our offense. I, our defense right now is giving us offensive energy. We're, we're scoring a lot off of our defense right now. Any more questions? Appreciate you guys.